Howdy folks, Mr. Reed here and welcome to One More Question. So what I'm going to be doing right now is taking a look at being able to tell in a list of four numbers actually, uh, which ones are rational, which ones are irrational, and after the fact being able to order these values based on some things that we can kind of tell. Um, so we'll see how it goes. If what you want to do is be able to tell the difference between rational and irrational numbers, chat about that a little bit, and then order them after you're done. You're in the right place, so let's get to it. All right, so my four numbers are up above. I have the square root of 81, I have the cube root of 25, I have the fifth root of 32, and I have the fourth root of 24. Um, now that I think about it, I'm not sure that I picked great values, but we're going to see how it goes. So first thing, the square root of 81. One, um, that should be, I say should be, it would be nice if you were able to recognize some of these ones that do have nice values. So first of all, square root, what does it really mean? We're looking for a number that when multiplied by itself so that there's two of that number, so something times itself, gives you 81. Nine will do that. So what that means is that it has a nice rational answer. So rational numbers are any number that can be represented by a ratio as a fraction. So nine, which is actually a whole number two, can be represented as nine over one, actually 18 over two, 27 over three, lots of different ways to represent nine by using a ratio of two numbers. This is rational, not irrational. So, okay. So first of all, we've identified that that is a rational number and it has a value of nine, which will help us to order things a little later. Uh, next up, if I go down to my fourth root of 24. So my fourth root of 24 is an interesting value um, because first of all, if I take one times one times one times one, it's just one. Two times two times two times two is 16. So I'm actually going to write that down. 2 to the power of 4 is 16. 3 to the power of 4, so 3 times 3 is 9, times 3 is 27, times 3 is 81. And so we'd have 3 to the power of 4 is 81. Now, 2 is too small because it only gives us 16. 3 is too large because it gives us 81. So this value of the fourth root of 24 must exist somewhere between those two numbers of 2 and 3. Actually, it would be a lot closer to 2 than it would to 3, just because 24 is much closer to the 16 than it is the 81. So this number, so maybe I should label the first one rational. That's what we found. This one is irrational. For these whole numbers inside of um, the radicals, our, our little check mark symbol, um, doesn't matter what type or flavor of radical these things are. So this is a flavor four, a type four, a fourth root, if you wish. Um, if you do not get a whole number, if it's a whole number inside, then it is an irrational number. It cannot be represented with a fraction. So that will change when you look at things that are fractions inside of these radicals. But for the time being, if we're just looking at whole numbers, which all four of these examples are, then it definitely is irrational because it falls somewhere between two and three and we can't represent that number that it falls on with a fraction. So um, I guess that's kind of just stuck at that for the time being. So somewhere between two and three, much closer to two. Next up, I'm going to take the cube root of 25. Now, I, I did make a little bit of an oopsie when I picked these numbers. Um, I probably should have just pretended that I had picked 35, uh, but you know, too late for that. I still can order them because they're so drastic in terms of the last one's quite close to a two. This one, if we take a look, um, cubes would be two times two times two would be two to the eight, three times three times, sorry, not two to the eight, my apologies. It's equal to eight. And then three times three times three would be equal to 27. And 25 is really close to 27, but it's not 27. So this is another irrational number. Not only is it an irrational number, it's a lot closer to three than it is two. Um, it would have been more distinct if I had picked something that was between, for instance, like three and four instead, so that we could easily tell. 
This one I'm kind of going by gut feeling rather than actually having the fact that it's bigger. If you have a calculator and you can estimate these values using that calculator, then that's fine and you could find out the same thing that this one is larger than the last one because it's much closer to the value that gives you uh, a three than it is the value that gives you a two. All right, so last one. I'm gonna take the fifth root of 32 and that one is exactly two because two times two times two times two times two <laughs> is 32. So this one is rational because it gives us that nice whole number answer. And so we can identify rational versus irrational because they're either going to be, in the case of the uh, rational number, that's a perfect fifth power. The other ones are not a perfect cube and not a perfect fourth power. So somewhere in between the perfect fourths, somewhere in between the perfect cubes, um, those are gonna be irrational, guaranteed. The first one is perfect square, so it lands right on nine, that one's rational too. So we can tell the difference between irrational and rational on whether they are perfect squares, cubes, fourth powers, fifth powers. And the way that we can do that is if you have a list, um, in my classes I actually I photocopy a page that's um, all the perfect squares up to 25, all the perfect cubes up to 25, all the perfect, uh, sorry, and when I say up to 25, I mean uh, using an initial value of 25. So all the perfect cubes up to 25 times 25 times 25. That's what I really mean. Uh, all the perfect fourth powers up to 25 times 25 times 25 times 25. And all the perfect fifth powers up to 25 times 25 times 25 times 25 times 25. Times 25. Um, it's kind of a massive looking sheet, uh, but it has all these numbers on it and it allows you to skim through. Uh, you can obviously also check with some sort of calculator, but actually having them all in the table um, up to that 25 times itself five times makes it a little easier and uh, sometimes faster to identify those things. So you might wanna find a sheet like that as you pick through questions like this and um, hopefully you'll be able to identify the difference between an irrational and a rational number quickly and after which be able to order them because of their relative sizes. So the order in this case, if we were to go from greatest to least, would be the square root of 81, followed by the cube root of 25, followed by the fourth root of 24, followed by the fifth root of, oops, 32. Um, uh, Another thing about what the, did with the values that I picked, it went square, cube, fourth, fifth, that's irrelevant. It has nothing to do with the question. Don't let that get in your way of understanding what's going on here. It could be in any order depending on what values those fall between. All right, folks, so hopefully you found that one helpful. If you did, like, subscribe, and as always, take care, folks.